Hello everyone, Mr. Reed here, and welcome to another movie recap video that I do. Sorry for the wait guys, I was a little... I did make the video, I was... I, I was working on one video, and I was close to uploading it, but I was at the beach, like the last week of June, and at one point while I was walking, a big wave came up and hit me, and since I was on, since I had my phone in my pocket, the whole thing screwed up and I had to get it repaired. But, you know, it turned out the damage was irreparable, so I had to get a replacement early next, early this week. And, uh, yeah, everything I had in it at that time is pretty much gone forever, including the video I was going to upload, which means I have to do the whole thing from scratch. So, that's going to be fun. Alright, so the video I'm going to be working on today is the long-awaited sequel, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It came out in 2022 and is considered a major improvement over the last over the last movie. Because, anyways, because it's got a lot more details from like the games and it's got a longer runtime. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fun. Uh, just like the last movie, I didn't really get to watch it until I got the Blu-ray for it on Christmas that year. So yep, this will be a fun one. So the movie starts off at that mushroom planet that was talked about in the last in the last movie. It's about a little less than a year after the events of the last movie, where we are greeted with our favorite mustachioed, egocentric baddie, Robot Nick, played by Jim Carrey, who has spent his days marooned on the planet with no resources and whatnot. And uh, you know he's basically collecting scrap and you know plotting revenge against the against Sonic for banishing him there he's also trying to replicate coffee with the mushrooms that are there but he's failing miserably so Eggman uses Sonic's quill to create a satellite in hopes of making contact with somebody but it doesn't do well at the moment But then, that night, a ring portal appears. And a bunch of bird people show up. Oh, but don't worry about that. Eggman set up a series of traps to deal with them. And with those bird people defeated, Eggman finally has a chance to escape. It's time to say goodbye to this. Piece of shiitake planet! And you're not going to believe who goes through the portal as he's trying to make a run for it. That's right, folks. Knuckles the Echidna. Any, any Sonic fan knows who this character is, so I don't need to talk or describe him much. And uh, anyways, he... If he then interrogates Eggman as to where he got the quill that, you know, that he got from Sonic. You know, you know that one? All right, so. Where did you get that? From a little blue menace on the planet called Earth. I'd be happy to show you the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. When, when I've, it's like when he said that, my mind immediately jumped to the Uganda Knuckles meme. You, you, you're familiar with that one? I'm sure it was unintentional, but you know, my, the fact that my brain functioned that was weird. And I was like, first they referenced Sanic in the in the last movie, and now there's Uganda Knuckles here. Now I just hope that the third movie references that fan dub. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Who posted my nudes on Twitter.com? <laughs> the movie then cuts to the city of Seattle, where we see a bank robbery in progress with a with a with a hijacked bank truck and a bunch of robbers throwing throwing bombs at some at, at some police cars chasing him, and guess who comes in to try and stop these crooks? You guessed it. Sonic the Hedgehog. 
Yeah, he's trying to do some hero stuff and trying to use his power to help people, but, you know, he he takes out the crooks that were in the truck and uh, he's kind of driving it himself and uh, he's kind of doing a poor job at it. Huh, what are those? Bombs, bombs, oh, bombs! Those are bombs! The wax? They're not even lit! So I'll say again, nobody's gonna get... Oh, but don't worry. Sonic throws those bombs out of the truck before they could explode. But uh, one of them gets into the sewer grate. It causes a whole bunch of water damage. But yeah, Sonic thwarts the criminals, but he did trash a whole block. So that's going to be on his record or whatever. Yeah, after that... Sonic arrives back at Green Hills, Montana, back to his back to his house. You know, he's still living with Tom and Maddie. I'm assuming you remember who they who they are. So then we get to Sonic and Tom. They're out in the they're out in the lake fishing and chilling, having a good time. And uh, well, Tom knows that Sonic has been sneaking out and doing stuff, and he gives him a and he gives him a talk about, you know, not about, you know, being a hero I means not putting people in danger. It's, uh, it's more about taking responsibility for other people. And, you know, you'll have your moment of being a hero once it, once it comes by. And uh... All right, now this is where plot progresses a little further. Uh, so, uh... Tom and Maddie are going out of town for the weekend to go to Hawaii. It's where uh, Maddie's sister Rachel, from the, she she was in the last movie, she's getting married in Hawaii, and Tom and Maddie are going to be going to it. And Sonic has the thing where it's like it's to save them on travel costs and whatever. He decided to take the two of them straight to Hawaii using one of his ring portals, which is very convenient. And uh, he also gave Tom a second one to get back. You guys got that? All right, good. Since Tom and Maddie are going to be in Hawaii for the weekend, this leaves Sonic in charge of the house for the weekend for the very first time. And you know what he does? He trashes the place, that's what. So, yeah. Very, very, very kid stuff, you know? And guess who shows up through a ring portal? Miles Prower, a.k.a. Tails. Just hope I'm not too late. That night, after after Sonic gets a phone call from Tom, we cut to, you know, Tom in Hawaii, where he meets Rachel's fiance named Randall, and you, know, you get, and then every, every, everyone's meeting up. You know, we got Tom, Maddie, Randall, and Rachel meeting up, and uh, meeting up, having a little toast, and having a nice little weekend together before the big wedding. But then that night, Sonic's chilling at the house with the with the family dog, and. Uh, and then Eggman shows up, and well, it is on like. Can I say that here? Man, Tom's gonna be pissed when he gets back. Knuckles beats up Sonic for a little bit, and he starts, and he starts t calling him weak and unworthy of the power. And he's, he mentions the ultimate power, and uh, and that intrigues Robotnik. And he's, he says that Longclaw, you know, you do remember Longclaw? She was a Sonic's foster parent at the prologue of the last movie. Apparently, Knuckles is part is part of you know 
is part of, you know, Long Claw's enemy tribe called the Echidnas, and we were gonna take that, we were gonna get the emerald and restore order to the world, and they, and you know, the Long Claw and, you know, the other owls took it from, from, from them, and I'm, bo I'm botching this right now. I'm botching this explanation right now. I gotta get better at this. But then, just as Knuckles is about to finish off Sonic, Tails arrives and runs over Knuckles with the police car. And, uh, you know, Sonic hitches a ride on the police car, and they both, and it begins an epic car chase between Sonic and Tails, now, now acquainted with each other, and, uh, and Knuckles, who is, who is hot on the trail, and, uh, of course, Tails is a huge fan of Sonic, and, uh, we'll get more on that later on, and, uh, Of course not! I literally just met you! Oh, but don't worry, the chase scene works out just fine after that. Then Eggman catches up to, you know, where Knuckles is, and they... they realizes that Sonic and Tails got away, he decides to call for a little extra help. And then we cut back to Green Hills, at a local coffee shop run by Eggman's right-hand man, Agent Stone, who was in the last movie. So yeah, Agent Stone's been doing pretty good for himself. He he has his own coffee shop, and when he suddenly gets an, a message about Eggman's return, where he where he basically has the whole coffee shop as a secret as like a secret base. I uh, may have left out Agent Stone when I talked about the last movie. My bad. All right, dude, take a chill pill, all right? And with a satellite from space, a piece of it comes down to where Eggman is, where he gets a new suit and some and access to his drone army, which is pretty good. You know, he tries to talk to Knuckles, and being intrigued by the ultimate power he mentioned earlier, he asks him about it. Oh. Forgot about this. The ultimate power, Tails explained it during the car chase. It's called the Master Emerald. It's uh, it's basically like one of the most powerful objects in the universe. And if in the, it's in the wrong hands, then everyone's screwed. And Sonic apparently is the key to finding it. So that's why Knuckles is after him. Yeah, when Eggman asks Knuckles about it, Knuckles is like, Meh, this doesn't concern you, man. I got you out of that planet, and you brought me to the Hedgehog, so we're, we're done. See, see you around, loser. And then, and then Eggman's like, I beg to differ. You see, Earth is my turf, G. If you don't know how to floss, you'll be lost without me. <sighs> Damn it. Why? Why did you have to floss? Okay. Second movie in a row that that happened. That better not happen in the third movie, or I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pissed. But yeah, flossing aside, uh, Knuckles and Eggman form an alliance to uh, track down the Master Emerald before Sonic and uses it to crush him once and for all. Speaking of Sonic. He and Tails are now hiding in Wade's garage to come up with a game plan. You you remember Wade, right? He was a uh, he's uh, he was in the Green Hills Police Force. He works with Tom. You know, they talk for a little bit about the Master Emerald and where where it could be. And that Sonic remembers that the map that Longclaw gave him had like the Master Emerald in the corner, and it meant abs and he thought it was just there for decoration. But then. But then, as they're talking about it, the map starts to glow, and uh, this happens. Whoa, 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 whoa! Bonka? Hello, Sonic. If 
you're watching this, then something has happened to me. Holographic Longclaw then explains that the Master Emerald, the source of ultimate power, is in fact on Earth. The Master Emerald is a is, a, is basically a big gemstone that has the power to wipe out entire civilizations and turn thoughts into reality. Wade compares it to the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters, but I don't see a connection. Longclaw tasks Sonic to find the Master Emerald and keep it and keep it safe, guard it with his life. You know, and uh, apparently the map changed, and it has a, and it now points out a clue to finding the, to where the Master Emerald could be, where it locates where a compass is. It's a tool to help find the Emerald, and uh, and it's in Siberia. So Sonic has to go there, and he wants Tails to tag along too, and Tails is like, Tails is a little hesitant at first. He's like, I'm not, I'm not a field guy. I just came here to warn you. And he's like, all right. He's like, never mind that. You're coming with me. And, uh, and then we come back to Tom in Hawaii, where we see him get his ass kicked in volleyball by Randall and his buddies. You know, he sees, he sees, you know, Randall celebrating with his buddies before the wedding, and he's thinking, like, Sonic could really use, like, a, like a squad like that. That'd, that'd be really nice. And then at one point, Manny comes back with, uh, Rachel's daughter. I keep forgetting her name. Anyway, she's the ring bearer, and uh, and uh, Tom does like that disappearing quarter trick with her with the ring, and uh, you know that works out. And uh, not much after that, we see we then see Sonic and Tails traversing through through the through the tundra where there's a, like a really big blizzard, and they can't find their way. So, but. Fortunately, they find a lodging up ahead, and they manage to sneak their way in there using a bunch of ski gear that they found. Only to be revealed to them that the place is entirely sketchy. Everyone looks dangerous, and yeah, everyone looks everyone here looks tough and real scary. And yeah, they get a table, and they and they basically order food using. Tails' translating device that he made. Yeah, one thing you should know about Tails is that he is very incredible with machines. In fact, these machines is how he discovered Sonic. You know, he saw the he saw Sonic doing that big power surge in the that that baseball field in the last movie, and he basically has been watching him ever since. And it's and you know he just became a huge fan. And once he found out. Knuckles is getting involved. He has to. He decided he had to come back in and warn and warn Sonic. And so yeah. they have a little bit of trouble with the translator, and they they lose their disguises and they almost get tossed in a fire. But then Tails uses his device to figure out a I don't know a Russian custom that they use to resolve conflicts via a dance battle. I know it sounds weird, but. Who am I to judge how people around the world do stuff? Sonic gets into the PA system and changes the music to some cop to some uh, to some uh, uptown funk, and that uh, you know the tone basically shifts, and they start kicking ass from there. That's great. I'm not showing the scene because I don't want to get another copyright strike, but. Put it in short, they end up winning, and their lives are spared, and they earn the respect of every of everyone at the lodge. So, yeah, it, everything's cool. But yeah, the next morning, the storm clears up, and Sonic and Tails, using Tails' flying ability, manage to traverse the mountains and pinpoint where the where the compass is. And so they they go into a cave, and they find a, a bunch of owl related ruins and uh and a and a big mural demonstrating the origins of the master emerald where all right this is going to be a little right, let me see if i can explain this good without stuttering or anything basically you got the echidnas you know knuckles tribe or whatever they 
use the seven Chaos Emeralds, you know, from the games, fuse them together to form the Master Emerald, and then they use it to wipe out entire armies. And, you know, you got the Owls, they can't have any of that, so they go over to the Echidnas and beat the crap out of them, and steal, take the Master Emerald and seal it away so that they don't, you know, get to it. Anyway, they manage to open the door, and they find a big ruin or a puzzle, and, uh, you know, Sonic solves the puzzle, and then, you know, a bunch of big life show happens, and then the compass appears. But, unfortunately, just as they get the compass, Eggman and Knuckles show up, and a little confrontation happens, so that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, with the cave suddenly caving in, Tails and Sonic escape, escape the cave, and Sonic snowboards down the mountain using a robot part. Tails is of course fly, flying above them, flying above the mountains, being chased by a couple of drones and Eggman. And then you got Sonic; he's fighting a bunch of the robots, and he's got, and he's also got Knuckles on his tail too, and they they fight for a bit. You are really bad at punching. Surrender the compass. You are no match for me. I have been training for this my entire life. And I have no training at all. Yet here I am ahead of you. That's gotta be embarrassing. But yeah, one misstep later, so Sonic trips and falls, and uh, he loses his rings. They fall off the cliff, and then uh, Knuckles corners him and then talks to him about his backstory. Because, you know, every villain does that for some reason. They said he lost everything because of Sonic. Because, you know, we got the Echidna tribe. They're about to, they were about to hunt down the last, you know, Owl Warrior. Which turns out to be Longclaw. And Knuckles, who was a kid at the time, shows, shows up to fight too. But then his dad is like, yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't be at this yet. It's, you're too young. But don't worry, He'll, your moment will come up eventually. And he never saw his dad again, which is sad because coincidentally, this is also the day that this is also there around the same time that Sonic lost Longclaw, so they have like a little bit of a connection. Yeah, while they're talking, Tails comes up and stuns Knuckles. Sonic throws the compass at Tails, but then Eggman catches it last second and knocks out Tails with his missiles, and then he and Knuckles get away. But yeah, a big avalanche comes up, and then Sonic and Tails, who is unconscious, is, you know, trying to escape the avalanche by snowboarding down, and since he's out of rings, there's only one ring left, and Tom has it, and he's still in Hawaii during the big wedding ceremony that was, that was hyped up. Tom receives the emergency call, and then Sonic explains that that he needs to use the ring that he gave him to save him, and uh, Tom throws the ring, and, uh, well, it doesn't work. See, the ring that he has is actually the actual writing, one of the actual red wedding rings, and uh, he must have gotten it mixed up when he was doing that ring, just that ear ring trick from earlier and the real ring is actually on the altar and uh you, you know what this means right? you know what that meant right i'm i'm just gonna skip to the payoff part <laughs> up the wedding jackass hey yeah this next part's pretty this is this is a pretty good plot twist right here apparently a majority of the guys at the wedding are actually undercover federal agents including Randall 
So yeah, this whole wedding was basically just a setup to, I don't know, get to, to get to, uh, you know, Sonic and whatnot. And so, yeah, the Colonel, Colonel guy, I forget his name. He was in the last movie. He had like the Olive Garden gift card. Apparently, after the events of the last movie, uh, they, they made like a secret global task force specialized in handling alien threats. You know, kind of like S.H.I.E.L.D. in the MCU. They call it the Guardian Units of Nations, or GUN for short. And Rachel, she was pissed. She has every right to be. Her fiance was using her to get to to get to her sister's husband's alien friend. So, <laughs> so now we have Sonic, Tails, and Tom now in custody by these gun agents. The good news is. Maddie and Rachel, they find Tails' backpack, which has a whole bunch of his gadgets. So, so they have to try and, so they have to try and get past these agents and rescue them. So, next we get a, we get a scene where we see Maddie and Rachel sneaking past these security to try and get into the, get into this place and rescue Tom, Sonic, and Tails from these from, you know, being put into federal prison for eternity. And maybe they'll get, like, experimented on E.T. style or whatever. So yeah, while Maddie rescue, rescues the trio, Rachel has other plans. And by other plans, I mean getting revenge on Randall. Which is, this part's actually, this part's actually pretty cool. Something bothering you, Agent? I just feel a little guilty about what I did to Rachel, sir. Ah. Don't worry about it. We'll send her a gift card. You didn't think it, my guy. Gift cards make everything better. Just ask the families of those guys that were in that submarine a few weeks back. And suddenly, suddenly as they're toasting, Rachel shows up and causes a whole bunch of hell. You go, girl! Teach him a lesson! Yeah! And as Rachel is confronting Randall, the uh, general guy pulls, pulls out a taser and threatens to tase Rachel, but then Randall jumps in in front of her and, you know, and takes it. Yeah, with that out of the way, Rachel and Randall, they, they basically make up like a classic rom-com, and, you know, things are all hunky-dory on their end, and... Yeah, Sonic, Tails, and Tom are, you know, have, are rescued, and, you know, Tom and Maddie are now caught up on the situation that's going on about Eggman's return, and they have to, you know, stop him before he, before they get the power of a literal god, so, oh yeah, speaking of which, we now get to Eggman and Knuckles, now on a desert island, they place a compass somewhere on the island, and a big, crazy, light spire happens, revealing the temple that is the location of the Master Emerald. Now, of course, Sonic and the crew sees the, sees the blast from there. They try to figure out a plan, but Sonic, on the other hand, he's feeling guilty that he almost got his friend killed, and he was like, yeah, I've had my moment, I, I did have my moment of being a hero, and I blew it, so now I gotta, I gotta do this on my own, so. So then we get a really cool scene, which consists of Sonic running, th running over an ocean, which is which is pretty cool. Some some real flash type, flash type, shit, you know. Where he then arrives at the temple where the emerald is. I'm just gonna call it the Emerald Temple to save time. We then get a nice, interesting, adventurous action sequence where we have where we have Eggman and Knuckles going through this big labyrinth within the temple, going through a whole bunch of Indiana Jones style booby traps. I still gotta watch that movie, by the way. That that new one, you know? 
and we, of course, we also have Sonic still hot on his tail. Eggman and Knuckles finally arrive at the big chamber where the emerald is, and you know they're about to get to it when Sonic shows up, bursts through a ceiling, and there's a, one more epic final confrontation between between uh, Sonic and Knuckles. And as the two of them are fighting, Eggman sneaks past both of them and steals the Master Emerald for himself, betraying Knuckles and possessing the ultimate power. Oh Wait! That wasn't the deal! Oh, you poor, naive creature. Is that your fault? A more advanced intellect would have seen this move coming a mile away. Or 1.6 kilometers. But I trusted you! You are my friend! <laughs> I'm sorry. That just hit me funny. the ultimate power, Eggman vanishes, and and the uh, the whole temple starts collapsing, and the place gets flooded. Knuckles gets pinned, then Sonic comes up and and rescues him before he could drown. And uh, Knuckles saves Sonic from drowning, and they and he drags him onto the shore, and they both have a very nice sentimental moment. But yeah, they still got it. They still got it. They need. They still need to defeat Eggman and Eggman, who now has the Master Emerald in his possession. And uh, Tails shows up and gets him out of the gets the two of them out of the island using a bike plane that was in Hawaii, which is which looks very similar to the tornado from the Sonic games. You you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we cut back to Green Hills, where we see Wade, who is the temporary sheriff for the weekend, cruising through the town on a, on a scooter. He tries to go to the coffee shop, but it's closed because Agent Stone is running it, doing some really weird computer stuff. Wade then enters and apprehends Stone. And then we see him with Stone handcuffed to a chair and interrogating him. And, uh... Suddenly, Eggman returns to Agent Stone's place at Green Hills, now sporting a new look and personality. Here, and yet I'm not all there. I'm upgrading Sinister 3.0. My game is next level. take it. But it. You know, as that's happening, a bunch of the gun federal agents show up with a whole with a whole SWAT team and some tanks and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And uh, Tom and Maddie are there too for some reason. But then Eggman emerges from the cafe and there's a little bit of talking. But then it cuts to Eggman using his powers to scrap all of the vehicles in the facility, maybe even going a little bit further by taking a whole bunch of cars and causing like this really big electrical storm that's like taking in all the metal and stuff that machinery that's in the place, like all the cars and the, all the cars and tanks and a train and all that. And it, they're, he's basically just building something. And as that's happening, Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails, now on the biplane, or the tornado, if you're a Sonic nerd, comes in, and they have to come up with a plan to take out that big, to take out Eggman, whatever the heck he's going to be doing with the Emerald, which apparently he ends up building a giant robot, similar to the Death Egg robot from the games whole thing looks really looks it basically just looks really cool 
And uh, the yeah, Ape Man basically controls the giant robot with his powers. And uh, of course, you got Agent Stone manning the guns. And uh, as the tornado shows up, this big fight happens in the town where where they try and come up with some attacks to take out to take out the robot, but it doesn't really do much damage. The the plane crashes, but you know Agent Stone gets knocked out. But don't worry, he'll be fine. Yeah, as Ape Man unleashes his robot army, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles come up with a good plan to take out to take the Master Emerald back from Ape Man and defeat him once and for all. Which apparently since. Since Sonic li basically lives rent free in Eggman's head 24 7, he is basically the distraction, drive him out of the city. When uh, Knuckles and Tails, they basically infiltrate the robot and knock the, em and knock the emerald right out of Eggman. So Sonic basically gets Eggman out of the town and onto like this big bridge, which Eggman demol crushes, by the way, and knocks out Sonic. And, uh, Tails manages to get inside of the robot with Eggman, and then Knuckles comes up, and Knuckles is also there, and he comes up and he punches the Master Emerald right out of him, causing Eggman to lose his special powers, and it, the robot shuts down. And for a split second, everything's quiet. Eggman is a little worried because he just lost the Emerald, and, you know, it's outside, like a couple meters from Sonic, who is gravely wounded, he comes up and he tries to he tries to get to it. Ape Man also gets the backup power on the robot running, so it's behind. so he's on the trail and he tries to stomp Sonic once and for all. But fortunately, Tom and Maddie come up in a pickup truck and grab grab him in the Emerald last second. So yeah, but you know then bad turn happens and they get and the whole thing flips and oh yeah and the master emerald shatters into a bunch of pieces but then right as eggman's gonna deliver the final blow with the chaos emeralds they go into sonic and yep that's it yeah you know what you know what's gonna happen now <laughs> super sonic <laughs> yeah this is this is awesome yeah, yeah, with the powers from the Chaos Emeralds, Sonic uses, his, or Super Sonic, I should say, Demalt crushes the entire robot and finishes off Eggman once and for all. <laughs> survived or not. Oh well, I guess we'll find out in the next movie. But yeah, Sonic then, you know, or Super Sonic kind of dispels the Chaos Emeralds, turning him back to normal because, you know, he had the, he did have the ultimate power of the universe in him, but I don't know, that kind of power just doesn't interest him. He's still got, he says he still has a little bit of growing up to do, so. So yeah, the world's world saved, and uh, yeah, everything everything's cool. I mean, the the town is still trashed, but Knuckles, uh, you know, takes all the Master Emerald pieces and mashes them together to repair it. And with the Master Emerald repaired, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles make a vow to guard the Master Emerald and. Keep it safe from any evildoers. So, yeah, that, that works out pretty good. And, well, that's it for the movie. Uh, and also, uh, Tom and Maddie, uh, they practically adopt Tails and Knuckles, and the whole gang just ends up having like a big baseball game. And, you know, Knuckles, Knuckles gets a home run, and everything everything's cool. And, uh, of course, they also have the Master Emerald with them, so yeah, everything's everything's nice. 
So yeah, that was Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, that was a great improvement over the over the last movie. Love how it s still is able to, you know, stay true to the g to the games and uh, yeah, I give it a three and a half stars. Yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Quite the improvement over the last movie. So yeah, that should be it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, before I forget, the post credit scene. Still searching, sir. Yeah, yeah, the gun agents are cleaning up the robot, and Eggman's nowhere to be found, and he's presumed dead. But luckily, Agent Stone is still good. See, there he is. Oh, and there's some... Oh, you, you beat me to it. database, we found something. A secret research facility. It was a black site, sir. Someone worked very hard to keep this hidden. My God. Project Shadow. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. I was... To be honest, I was kind of hoping for Big the Cat, but uh, that works too.